Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. So exporting data from uh, train view is a pretty complicated task. Not too many features available. And in this video, I will share with you uh, one way you can export small chunks of uh, computated data from a train view. And I think for some use cases, it can be quite useful. And um, so let's start with um, this code I have here. This is a simple, a simple moving average strategy. I have two moving averages and I uh, just display them on my chart. And let's assume that I want to export um, some data. So for example, I want to know when all uh, crosses uh, of these two moving averages appear. I want to know the date of the, um, of the cross, uh, type of the cross, and also I want to export values of uh, my moving averages um, at the time of the cross. So how can I do that? So first of all, I will create a bunch of arrays uh, that will store uh, all this data uh, for me. Um, so first of all, I will create an array uh, for, um, for dates uh, that will store uh, all the dates. Um, the date in uh, Pinescape is a uh, float, so I will create a float array. Also, we'll create um, an array for um, a type of the cross, and it will be a string array. And also, we'll create uh, two arrays that will store um, values of uh, fast moving average and slow moving average. So I created arrays, so now I have to fill them. So I will create like an if statement, and if I see um, crossover of um, two moving averages fast um, over uh, slow. What I will do, I will add all kind of needed values uh, to my arrays. I will use array.push uh, function and I will push uh, to date um, or current time. Um, I will push uh, to type um, string indicating that this is actually a, a bull crossover and um, I will push to fast uh, array value of my uh, moving average fast and to the slow um, array it will be value of my uh, slow uh, moving averages. So I will copy the same for uh, the bearish uh, cross. I just need to replace uh, cross over to cross under and here I will replace it with a bear. So that's it for uh, filling uh, our arrays. So um, now um, at the end of like computations, uh, these arrays store all this information about our crossovers. So now I need to create like a message from it that I want uh, to uh, export sort of. So I will export this data with an email and with an email kind of alert. And what I want to do is I want to create um, kind of legit CSV file inside Pinescape, just export it, and after that I can use it in like Excel or like Google Sheets easily. So how can I do that? So what I will do first, I will check that actually our bar is lost. And um, now I will create like alert uh, text. And I will start with just column names. So first I will use date type um, fast slow values and in the end I will add um, a slash n for like new line. And next I will create like a small loop that will iterate through my arrays and will uh, fill kind of the rows for every record in my arrays. So first of all I will uh, iterate from zero to array size of uh, dates, for example. Um, anyway, like all my arrays have the same length, so it doesn't matter which array I will use here. And here I just need to add to my array text um, all values for all my arrays. So we'll start with, um, um, with my dates. So I will use array.get function to get uh, a value from my uh, dates array. And um, I will use also a comma to separate my values. And that's it. And now I need to use um, pretty much the same code here um, three more, more times and just replace name of the array. So you need to use type here, 
fast in the third one and the last is slow and here in the end i will add like new line to um, separate all uh, records kind of in, in with the new lines and that's it with my um, our alert text and the last thing i have to do is i need to send this as, as an alert so i will use alert function i will just pass my alert text and i will use um, frequency parameter i will use alert dot frequency once per bar so that's it um script is completely saved and see if it works so it seems uh, to work we have no errors so now we need to create an alert and i created this script this way that uh, this alert will be fired immediately after we will create our alert and we will receive um, this data so let's select our name of our script and use any alert function call let's click create so as you can see we received our alert and this is data and it's like looks like a csv like a format but unfortunately i cannot copy the data from here uh, trading doesn't allow me to do that but I'll, i also sent the same data to my alert and i can um, easily copy it from uh, my email so let's open like text editor and here i copied my data from my email and as you can see it looks um, very close then to a normal like csv file and now you can just take it and copy to like a spreadsheet here i have for example google spreadsheet um, it doesn't look good but you can go to data split text to columns and after that it looks like a normal spreadsheet so um, as you can see it's quite simple but with this approach you have um, a bunch of um, limitations a problem is that size of uh, string variable in um, a bind script is limited so it only can be 4000 um, characters and if for example we'll go to like a lower time frame um, i think it will be too much for him and as you can see here you have you have like a study error that string is um, too long and you have uh, to have like a smaller signal so you first of all you can, what you can do is you can limit amount of data you add to your alert or you can create like a more sophisticated script that will uh, split like big chunks of data in smaller chunks and set to you uh, with uh, separate emails and after that you can join them kind of back together in like a big table if um, you need to so uh, th this approach is not um, like ideal of course um, I think you can kind of it's good to export um, like pre-computed um, data um, small amounts of data from uh, trading view it's not good to export uh, big chunks of data for example but example I think it can be quite useful to export like screen results or something like that or strategy statistics or something like that it can be quite useful so I think that's it um, for uh, this topic um, I hope it will be useful for you thank you for watching see you